Is Donald Trump passing gas in the courtroom during his New York trial? Jimmy Kimmel mentioned the former president's supposed flatulence on his late night show. On April 22, 2024, late night host Jimmy Kimmel monologued about the ongoing criminal trial against former U.S. President Donald Trump cracking jokes about the president's behavior, including one particular smelly rumor that, during the trial, the former president had been rather flatulent. To his credit, Kimmel's monologue left some room for nuance. We don't know for sure that Trump was the one farting in court, so it would not be right for me to state that he was. Though, I cannot in good conscience report that Trump was pumping gas like a Barstow Texaco, but I can report, to borrow a phrase he liked to use when spreading rumors, that many people were saying he was farting in court. Many people, indeed. The claim initially appeared on April 19, 2024, in a clip posted by the ex-formerly Twitter account at Asin of an interview on the Midas Touch Network, a progressive media organization. In the clip, the founder of Midas Touch, Ben Mizellas talked about how he had heard from credible sources that Trump's gas was noxious enough to make his lawyers struggle with the smell. Mizellas did not name his sources and almost backed off from the claim at the end. Take it for what it's worth. They may be going on background telling me that because it's the Midas touch and they think that we want to hear that. The claim was backed up by George Conway, who was married to Trump aide Kellyanne Conway until 2023 and has vocally campaigned against the former president. Conway said on his ex-account he had heard similar rumors. Snopes performed its own investigation into whether this rumor passed the smell test but came up short. Everything we found could be traced back to either Mizellas or Conway. As neither of them shared who their sources were, and no major news outlet had covered the supposed flatulence. There's a long history of making fun of minor presidential gaffes, like a Saturday Night Live take on Gerald Ford, inspired by the time he fell down the stairs of Air Force One. When that claim is about the president's supposed flatulence, it's often an implication that the person is growing senile and might be unfit to serve. But as Snopes summarized in 2022, claims about embarrassing behavior by a president, current or former, are not new, no matter the political positions or the truthfulness of the claim. We've covered them about Trump, Joe Biden and Barack Obama. The View co-host Sonny Hostin jabs Donald Trump for allegedly farting up a storm during trial. I am so shocked that the Republican Party has a nominee who is a former one term, twice impeached, indicted with 88 criminal charges, and found liable for sexual abuse candidate, the legal expert said on Wednesday's episode of the show, prompting her co-host Alyssa Farah Griffin, who used to work for Trump's communications team, to cut in. He's tied with Joe Biden. It makes no sense, Griffin said, before Hostin continued, saying she's so shocked that that's all the Republican Party had to offer in terms of a presidential candidate for November's election but that she has hope that Americans won't vote for him given his recent string of legal woes and reported wind-breaking antics. I do think people are paying attention to the fact that he's been fined $9,000 for violating a gag order, that he's just losing it, Hostin said. He's farting up a storm in the courtroom. Everyone's writing about that. He's probably just horrified about that. He's sitting there falling asleep. He's now sleepy Don. There's no Sleepy Joe anymore. Co-host Joy Behar then quipped that they need to get him some emodium while he sits in court. Sarah Haynes also went in on Trump, calling him crazy, though she added that coverage of the legal proceedings, showing him sitting still in a professional setting, challenges what people think they know of the ex-president. But, Hostin jumped in, he's sitting in a courtroom farting. Farting has long been a touchy subject on The View, with Goldberg speaking to viewers at home in March 2023 about a terroristic raspberry noise and water spillage that interrupted a live broadcast. We get blamed for dropping gas, when in fact it's a cup, she said, after Haynes' mug made a distinct sound on the table. As you leave the page, don't forget to hit the like bell and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so as yet. Thank you.